considering my younger daughter, who is now more than old enough to vote, may have been one of the world's biggest Care Bear fans. On top of them having been popular when I was younger, I know more about them than any adult should. Having saved Share Bear and Grumpy Bear in particular from a number of potential catastrophes, cleaning them back up, and putting them back into service, I also have at least some fondness for them secondhand. Having seen the Smurfs come back to gaming with a few modest successes, I was intrigued to see how this effort would turn out. While perhaps I wouldn't consider it as successful a use of a licensed property in terms of the results being more unique or engaging, I suppose just going with a more by the numbers approach is fine enough if the goal is really focused on making the game fun for its prime target audience. Through that lens, the pretty basic platforming and generally low stakes action are appropriate, though perhaps they aim a little lower than they could. If you're playing together, Parents or older siblings could certainly give younger players enough cover to feel like they're doing well, and if you're playing solo the system that will have other bears show up to help is an appreciated enhancement. Overall, I think the best way to describe the gameplay here is inoffensive and safe. You get the cute and colorful feels, pretty well every major care bear is represented so hopefully if your kids have a favorite they can play as them, and the inclusion of co-op so parents can play along is welcome. It's hardly amazing but it does feel appropriate for its audience. Overall, my final score for the game ended up being a 6.5. And if you're interested in picking it up, it's currently available on the Switch eShop for $14.99. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this review. And if you'd like more information or ideas of indie games worth checking out on Switch, be sure to click on the link provided in the description. Until next time.